I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. There's a whole secret underground world of dog walking that you don't even know about. I was a professional dog walker for six years and today I'm gonna tell you the 12 things that your dog walker will never ever 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 tell you. <laughs> Number one, our roots are super complicated and hard to understand. So don't ask us last minute to come a little bit earlier or come a little bit later because we have sat the night before and perfectly planned everything out about which dog should go where and which house should go in which order and it's just really complicated so don't ask us to change it just don't the second thing is that we are almost always late or rushing because we are about to be late dogs are unpredictable our priority is keeping your dog safe not being exactly on time with what when you think we should be there we have favorite dogs even though we say that we don't we also have dogs that we absolutely dread walking but we will never tell you that we will never ever say anything but most of the time we're just waiting for you to offer us a glass of water or a snack or the ability to use the bathroom Room. Puppies may be cute, but we all absolutely hate bringing them on group walks because they are crazy and they don't listen. We will never tell you when we are tired or overwhelmed, which is most days. If you're rude to us, we may just turn a blind eye if your dog jumps in a mud puddle. <laughs> I've never done that, but I know other people who have and it's funny. <laughs> dog walkers form cliques in the dog parks with the other dog walkers and we talk about everyone and everything. So we've probably talked about you at some point. We judge lazy dog owners. If you are an able-bodied human who is physically able to walk your dog and you're at home during the day, then we will judge you for hiring us. I have had clients who literally have never taken their dog for a walk, not because they're physically unable, because I understand that but just because they didn't want to they'd rather just hire somebody to do it and that just makes me sad we are fiercely protective of the dogs in our pack and we form super strong bonds with them that you may never know about if something happens to one of our dogs we are just as destroyed about it as you are I've had dogs that have been my regulars in the past who have passed away from old age or from other complications and I don't think that the owners really realized how much it affected me. We have a strong bond with these dogs too. We need to know those things. They're our friends. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something about the underbelly of the dog walking world. <laughs> if you haven't already, then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you like dogs. And I'll see you in the next video.